John, 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 I want to trade the binary options. Which one do you, do you think, what do you think about the binary options? Do you think it's a good system? What's a good broker? Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, I've just recorded the video walking you through the power reversal method. This is amazing and help you identify when the market is likely to change trends. So click on the box above that says power vessel to get access now. All right, hey guys, hope you're doing well. I just got a question on my YouTube channel and I wanna share something with you. So, uh, let me just, so I wanna share, where are we here? Um, <laughs> um, I'm just, um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to find um, this question here. Let me just, okay, so I think it's on this other video. So I'm just looking to find this question here. And so let me just, here we go. I think I found it. Um, no, why not? Where, where is it? Just give me a sec, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go, guys. So, uh, this is the, this is, uh, the video that I did here was basically, um, you know, market way over bought, um, market update time, says Joseph. And this guy says here, John, how can, um, hey John, what, what is your take on binary options? Um, can you please help me figure out what broker to choose? So I want to talk about that uh, for, in this video here about binary options and what I think about binary options and why, hey John, what's your take on binary options? Is there any more there? No. So. I want to talk about that in this video about binary options and what I think about binary options. So let me take everything off the screen here. I'm just bringing up any chart here. I'm just bringing up the GDX chart while I'm talking here, guys. I actually think that you should not touch binary options. Don't touch binary options. Do not get involved with binary options. If you want to lose all your money, get involved with binary options. Trading the market is difficult enough. Binary options is against you guys. It is against you. Now, why is that against you? Because you think about this here for a minute. Binary options is exactly like gambling. Trading is not gambling. Binary options is exactly like gambling. Now, there are some people out there that can make binary options work, but you need to be really, really, really good at getting the direction right. Make sense? You need to get a, you know, you need to be able to get good at that. So with binary options, what happens is that when you put a trade on, you're risking 100% of your account, or 100% of that trade to make how much? 80%. So you need to be about 70% right to make money. 70% right to make money. I don't know about you, but 70% right uh, sometimes is a difficult thing. Sometimes I'm only 50-50 right. So you're risking 100% of your money to make 70%. And now it looks very, very, very appealing, right? Oh my goodness, you can make 80%. You can make 80% in 60 seconds. Oh my goodness, if I put 10 grand on that, I could make eight grand in 60 seconds. Yeah, you could lose 10 grand in 60 seconds too, or a day or whatever. Make sense? So you can see that for me, guys, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to trade binary options when it comes down to that when you put a trade on, you're going to lose 100% of your money, but you're only going to make 80% if you're right. 
you may as well go put it, you know, you may, you may as well go put your money on a horse. At least they're going to pay probably 10 to 1 odds. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you make money, you're probably going to make 400% instead of 80%. You know, you're better off going to do that. So guys, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. That's, you know, it, it is against you. That's against you. So guys, if you seriously want to make good money moving forward, you've got to be willing to be able to grow your confidence level in a way where you could put a five or a 10 or 20 or a 50 or a hundred thousand dollar trade on moving forward in your trading career and know that if the whole world turns to custard, that you're going to be okay. Now, how is that? How is that? If you, you know, if you want to make some serious money from the markets, then a hundred percent you know, would you be confident putting $5,000 on knowing that you could lose that money straight away? Would you be confident putting $10,000 on knowing that you could lose that straight away? So for me, guys, buying your options is totally, totally against you. It is just totally against you. The art of trading, the, the number one rule to trading is Cut your losses short and let your wins run. That is the that is the number one trading success formula amongst everything. If you're in a trade and it's not working, you cut your losses short. But if it's working, let your profits run a little bit. So and, and that's and that's how that's how you that's how you do well. That's how you would do in the markets. See guys, and then I'll give you an example here. Sometimes guys, you know, what happens if you go through a losing streak? One, two, three, four losers in a row. What happens then? Well, you know, well, especially if, if you're trading binary options, right? Now you're, now you're really freaking out. But I'll give you a true story. Of the re, the, I'll give you a, a true story of what happened to me. I had about four or five trades. One trade was about a 5% loss. Now I was trading about 10% of my account at this one time, guys. So 10% of my account. So 5% of that 10%, what is that? maybe half percent of my account, okay? Get, get what I'm saying here? So I'm trading 10% of my account on any given one trade. I'm trading options. So I had a loss. It was, the first one was a loss, it was a 5% loss. The second one was a 10% loss. The third one was a 20% loss. The fourth one was another 10% loss. And just say so the fifth one here, forget what it was, so let's just call it a 15% loss. So let's actually put all these losses together. What do we have here? 10, 20, so that's uh, 40, 55, 60, right? So we have a 60% loss here in total. You with me so far, guys? So this is a 60% loss, because I remember I was cutting my losses short, cutting my losses short, cutting my losses short. The trades weren't working for me, right? I went through a horrible win-loss ratio. Where I had, you know, the first of the five trades I had, no. So that, that's 60% of the 10%. So how much is my account down? About 3%, right? My account's down about 3% in total. Maybe 4% including brokerage. But see, that's what happened there, right? But, I, but I, I took the trade, I got out early. I took the trade, I got out early. I took the trade, I got out early. That was the number one thing. And then guess what? Number six trade, I made an 80% profit. Bam. There go, you know, I got, there, I got all my losses back plus a 20% profit. Now my account's slightly in green, including brokerage. The seventh trade was a 60% profit. Now I'm back in green. So out of seven trades, I, out of seven trades, I had two wins and five losses, and my account was still in profit. This is how you win the game of trading, guys. This is how you get ahead in trading. It's not about getting every trade right. Like, guys, I've had four or five losers trades in the row in the last couple of months, in the, la in the last month. But guess what? I came back with, you know, I had a 10% loss, a 20% loss, a 13% a, 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 a loss, and then I came back with a 100% profit. Right? I had a loss, a loss. I remember, guys, I had, I had about... I had about, I think it was about four losses in a row. And then guess what, guys? And then I came back and then I had and then I had this trade here, which was what? Um, let's bring up here. Let's bring up the daily, which was this trade here. It's about, it's about, I'm about to show you here. So I had about, I think about four losers in a row. It was a 10% loss, a 13% loss, uh, an 8% loss, something like that anyway. Right? And so, and that's what happened is that I had all these losses and if this market, <laughs> if this software will uh, will load my chart for me, I'll be able to show you what's going on here. Um, but essentially guys, what happened was um, I had that and I had a loss, a loss, a loss, a loss. And then because I was cutting my losses short, all I had to have is one good winner and I got all my, all my losses back. And I'll show you here, right? So on this one here, 
I got in, and you guys can go back and hear, I got in on this day here. Why? Because it's a bullish up day, breaking out, so on, so on, so on, yada, 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 yada. Uh, and I got out this day here. Right? This day here or this day here. One of these days. Uh, so, I don't know. This guy, this, this could just keep going up, but I just got out that day. This one here was a 150% winner. 150% winner. Why? Because of volatility, so on and so forth, right? So, um, you know, I had, uh, I think, I think my, I think my total losses for that was around 50%, was around 50% in total. So that's 50% of 10% of my, of my account, which is around 5%, which is of 50%, which is, um, so 10% of my account, which is, which is about 5%, right? About 5%. But that was about four trades in total that had a 50% loss. Then I came back here, bam, I had a 150% winner. Thank you very, very much. There's there's a 10%, there's a 10% growth in my account in one trade. And then I did that, and then I also had another trade with Adobe. And and um and I got in on Adobe. Where was this one here? I got in on this way here on Adobe, and I got out right here. I don't know, Adobe could just keep going up. But guess what this one was, guys? This one here was about a 55 to 60% win loss ratio. So even just I mean, this one, uh, sorry, fifty-five to sixty percent win. So guys, the art, the art of the art of successful trading is is not about uh, buying your options is the worst market out there because you're going to go through a period. I don't care how good your system is, you're going to go through a period where you're going to have two, three, four, five losers in a row. How are you going to handle that? And how you handle that, guys, is knowing that when the trade's not working, you're getting out quickly. You're getting out fast. You're moving. You're just getting out quickly. And when and when the market's running for you, like it was here, you let it run on a little bit, and then you and then when it's, and then you run on a little bit, and then you take a nice profit, right? So I, I I'll show you a trade that I got into just recently, guys. Um, B I I B. I got into a trade just recently on B I I B. It was actually just last this morning, actually. Now, why did I get into it? It was actually part of my system. I got into it, but I got into a call option on BIIB. Now, what is my scenario here with BIIB? Now, I bought in the money options, so I bought it in the money op in the money options with this one here. So, if BIIB opens up and comes back down, and, and we get a close below this bar here, guess what? I'm out. What would that give me? Probably, I say a twenty percent loss, maybe even maybe even a fifteen percent loss. If that did happen, we ran up there and we had we had we had a drop down. What would that be in a percent terms? So it's, yeah, it's probably going to give me a twenty percent loss, right? It's twenty percent loss, maybe 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 more. But in the money options, it might be it might be a bit less, might, somewhere between fifteen and twenty percent. I know that I'm roughly risky on this account. But guess what, guys? That 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 guess what? Right? That's what I'm doing, right? I, I know my risk on this one. So if I'm trading ten percent of my account on this one here. And I'm risking, say, on average, say twenty percent. How much is that, how much of my account is that risk on average? Two percent. So can you see how that works, right? So I'll, I'll give you I'll give you the numbers here. I'll give you the numbers here, right? Let's just say, for example, but for argument's sake, my account was uh, my account was only say my account was say uh, say a hundred grand, and I'm trading say ten thousand dollars here. All right, guys. Again, this is how you get ahead in the markets long term. Just say you had and I, and I had ten thousand dollars on this trade. That was ten percent of my account, right? My accounts, my accounts worth say hundred grand. My accounts worth a lot more than that, but I'm just using simple numbers here for an argument's sake. So say it's ten ten thousand dollars, right? So ten thousand dollars, I'm in, I'm, I'm in this trade right here, right? So out of that ten thousand dollars, what am I risking? I'm risking on average two thousand dollars, right? So I'm risking on average around two thousand um, dollars, maybe a bit less, maybe bit, maybe maybe a bit more. But that's that's what average. My average loss is between my average my average loss is anywhere between ten and twenty percent. You know, my average loss lately is between ten and fifteen percent. I've had I've had like a eight percent loss, a ten percent loss, a thirteen percent loss, uh, and an arc at an eighteen percent loss. You know, like there's been my recent losses I've had, but then I've come back with big wins. So you can see here, guys, I'm risking two percent on this one here. But let me ask you a question: What happens if we go for a if we go for a couple of good day run through here? Maybe maybe even the next week or so we, we end up and we have we have a nice run, and we go from say we go from here and we go down we go down to eighty five right eighty five is going to give me say a twenty percent loss through here. What happens right now? It's about two dollars ninety. What happens if we went up to two two ninety five, three hundred, three hundred five, three ten? What happens? What happens if this thing just absolutely just took off like it did through here? 
Well, as you can see, right, my risk is 2% on this one, but I know this trade is going to be roughly a 60 to 80%, maybe even more profit. So as you can see, guys, that's what I'm doing. Now, it's not always going to be like that. I might only get out with a 50% profit. I might get out with 100% profit. I'm going to cut my losses short. But as you can see, guys, this is my short loss here. This is the trade that I'm in right now. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. But I'm telling you right now, guys, by looking at this trade and by, by taking this trade from me, I know what I know what I'm doing. And the saving grace I've been in so many times, guys, is my ability to get out fast. Just get out fast. And you and and, and having no small losses. Because as I showed you a minute ago, you can have two or three or four losses in a row, which is going to happen. I don't care what system you have, you're going to have that. But how do you have that? How do you have that and still move forward a big way? If you trade binary options, guys, you can't do that. The art of the, the number one rule to successful trading is the ability to cut your losses short and let your wins run. That is it. That is the ability. You can have a 30% win-loss ratio and still make a lot of money from the market. If your ability is to get out really, really quickly, but when the market's moving in a direction, you give it a bit of time to do what it needs to do, you can start to have a really bad win-loss ratio, still make a lot of money from the markets. That is that is how you win the art. That's how you win at the game of trading. I don't know how this trade's going to work out, and I don't really care. Because I do know, even if I'm only 50-50, right, if I keep applying that to every single trade, and I take 100 trades throughout this whole year, 50 of them were average of 15% loss, and the other 50 were average of 60% win, guess what? Ding, ding, we have a winner. So, but every single trade I take, I, I, I monitor the exact same way. So, I don't know guys, let's see, let's, see, let's, see, let's see what happens with this trade. You guys can follow along with me now, see what happens with this trade. But I do believe we're likely to start seeing a nice move up here with BIIB. So, I'm in this. But if I don't, guess what? It's going to stop me out. And then I'm, I'm, I'm on a couple, I'm, I'm on another three or four trades anyway. Even if, even if I mean, I'm on about four trades right now. Even if three of those stop out, one's a really good winner, guess what? I'm going to be in green. I'm going to be in profit. See how I set the game up to win, guys? This is how you, this is how you set the game up then. This is how you successfully move, move forward long term. But how are you going to handle, guys, if you go for four or five or six losing trades in a row? Trading binary options, you're going to be freaking out. And plus, how can you put, there's no way I'm going to put a 10%, 10 or 20% return, 20% of my account on a binary option trade knowing that I could lose it, all of it in 60 seconds or an hour or two. No, but I'm happy doing, say, an options trade where I know my average loss is, say, two, is 20%. If I'm trading 10%, I know, I know I can get out with, say, 20% loss, uh, which is like 2% of my account. I'm risking 2% of my account, not 10% of my account. But if I, I'm risking 2% of my account, but if it's right, and, I, and I, if it's right, and, my, and this thing goes to an 80% win, guess what? I now just risk 2% of my account to make 8% of my account. Do you see how that works, guys? And you can, take it, you can take it all up to say, you know, when you get really confident, say the 20% of your account. So now the exact same trade, now you're risking 4% of your account to make 16% return on your account. Do you see how that works? This is how it works. This is the art of successful trading to help you guys move forward. So don't touch binary options. It is the worst game out there. It's not binary options. It's not options itself. It's not the Forex market. It's not the futures market. It's not any of those markets that's going to make you money. It's your ability to be able to read the charts. It's your ability to be able to get the direction right. And when you are wrong, what are you going to do? And that's, that is the art of trading. It's not, it's not the Forex market. It's not the stock market. It's not binary options. It's not futures. It's not those markets there. They're not going to make you money. Your ability to trade the market is going to help you make money. Your ability to trade the market effectively means you're going to have a really good pattern that you're looking to trade, basically, because that's what a trading system is. It's just a, it's just a really good, really good consistent probability pattern. And uh, and and you know, even if that probability pattern is only going to give you 50-50 right, if you keep if you do what I do what I say before in, th in this video, guys, which I do every single time, I know that if I apply that rule to every single trade I take, where I'm getting out really quickly, if it's not working for me, and then when it does work for me, I'm going to hold on to l let it ride. Guess what? I know I'm going to have a winner. I know at the end of the year my account's going to be in green, but I need to apply that to every single trade. Do not trade binary options. Don't touch that market ever. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.